Those on that guy, he's got some serious gingivitis. <laughs> Wow, excuse me, 
talking, talking, talking. That was a seriously long phrase. And I know I didn't have a camera on her for most of the time. Because I was just trying to hear what she was saying. Alright, hold on a minute. Let's just look at the box over here. Okay, let's look at the box here, guys. Because maybe this is going to answer our question whether this is a chick or a dude. We got to go around to the back here. Tallulah was forced to marry young to a man. That answers our question right there. Tallulah is officially a chick. A scary, creepy, green chick. Alright, I gotta do it one more time here. Because that was cool. Alright, Tallulah, do it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, when I first saw her, I thought, man, that's like an overkill because I already have Mr. Dark, I already have Hex Bond, and now they have Tallulah on the same frame that does the same thing. But I was wrong. She turned out to be totally awesome. I'll tell you what, I am very, very, very tempted to buy her today. Do I have room in the Hummer? I still got all my Christmas stuff in the Hummer from the storage unit. Okay, let's go ahead past Tallulah here and let's check out the fortune teller booth right here. Look, there's a little fortune teller inside there telling my fortune already. And down here we have the evil seagull, which somebody just named Stephen Seagull. Wait, look at this. There's an actual carnival ticket right here. Are they selling these? Or are these just part of the props? That is really cool. I wish I would have thought of it and made some of those for my inflatable spirit store. Okay, let's go ahead over here and check out Max Straw. But before we check out Max Straw, we're going to have to spin the Wheel of Fate. I always lose on the Wheel of Fate. Let's see what happens right now. Right here, right now. Oh, it's not taking away. It should be. This is supposed to be down. Hold on now. Hold on. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's do it one more time because I just died to death with a skull. Here we go. What the heck? It's not working right. <laughs> I did it wrong. Alright, well, let's see where it lands anyway. Congrats, you get to live. That's what I'm talking about. Thank God the Wheel of Fate wasn't working correctly. I get to live. Oh, look at this. I walked right past them. They have two ghost faces here. How cool is that? Here's the bloody face, and I have yet to see one set up with this face. But it's just the beginning of the season, so that will be coming soon. Hello, Huntformer. Mac Straw. Look at this. We got the plush ghost faces and Michael Myers right up front. Let's go ahead and get him going here. <laughs> Yeah, I like him so much more than I ever thought I would. And I don't know what it is about crow sounds, but I absolutely love crow sounds at Halloween. It's so spooky. All right, don't worry. We're making our way over to art, but first we have to take a look at the giant death ray. Look how absolutely enormous he is. He's just like Slenderman if you put a suit on him. If anybody does that, make sure you post a picture on that mate guys and gals on Facebook. I want to see him dressed up like Slenderman in a suit. All right, let's go ahead and get him going here. There's his lights and his evil alien sounds. He is totally awesome, and I absolutely love the size of his hands. His hands are so huge. Whenever I see the huge hands on an animatronic like this, I just always think they want to reach out, grab my skull, and crush it. Oh my gosh, guys, I just turned around and was very surprised to see this animatronic on the floor for sale. I'm going to show you in just a minute, because there is a lot of stuff in here. But let's go ahead over here and check out Art, because I know you are all waiting. Check this out. He's got his horn down here. He has his fingerless gloves on, and he has his sunglasses on. The daisy sunglasses. Are they daisies? I think they're daisies. And look how wide his shoes are. Those things are enormous. He's got a serious case of clubfoot. <laughs> And the face on him actually looks really, really good. I'd like to see his eyes, but I don't want to take the glasses off. All right, I believe that this is a trigger for him. Yep, here he goes. It is like overkill on the horn. <laughs> he is pretty awesome. Let's do it again because I want to see his hand waving. Watch this, his hand waves. That is really cool. It's so creepy. And if you've ever seen the Terrifier movies, puke. Ugh, sick. <laughs> Alright, let's just back up a second here so we can appreciate the down the duck game. We got the ducks over here. We got the, uh, the little laser guns here that shoot the ducks. Let's see if we can actually... Do they actually move? The guns make sounds, but they're very, very quiet. And you can hear the circus music going. There's one duck moving over here. Look at this. Behind Art. One duck moving. The rest of them must have got blown to smithereens. All right, we got the classic sitting scarecrow over here. Hold on, we got to put some stickers in his bucket. Hold on now. All right, let's put a couple in there. Apparently his sensor is not on, but he does have a step pad. There he is. Oh, he's a scary sitting scarecrow. All right, enjoy your stickers, mister. And right in front of him, we have a whole stack of sitting scarecrows and scary sitting scarecrows for sale. I wonder what I was going to call them. Scary sitting scarecrows. We can't ignore the hello rat. And hold on, let me just take a look at the flyer here, because I haven't taken a good look at that. That looks totally awesome. Okay, right over here, check this out, guys. We actually have two Art the Clowns for sale here. They actually have a Mr. Punchy over here. And then look over here at what I see. What the heck? They have a Toothy the Clown for sale. I thought this guy was 
online only. He's actually much bigger than I thought he would be. It must be the head. The head is probably gigantic. And look at those teeth. Speaking of toothies, mouth moves as he speaks. Wow, it doesn't look like the mouth would move, but it says the mouth moves as he speaks. I didn't even see a price on him. I wonder how he made his way into the store. That's so cool. That's one thing I love about going to so many different stores. You see different things in every single one. And people say I'm crazy when I say, oh, you might see that in the store, but there he is, Toothy the Clown. All right, below him we have a giant death ray. Beside him we got a Max Straw. Is this another? Yeah, we got two Max Straws. And then on the other side we have a Black Heart. Guys, they have an awesome selection of animatronics here. They are totally stuck. Look at this. They even have a Heckles over here. Holy crap. They got a Heckles. They got a Death. Wait, they got a Death Stalker in the store. What did I tell you? This is why I go to so many different stores. Now tell me if I'm wrong or not, but I believe that Deathstalker also was only supposed to be available online. Man, look at the gums on that guy. He's got some serious gingivitis. <laughs> And then look at this, on the other side we have a buzzsaw. I have been so up in the air of whether or not I want to buy a buzzsaw. I know we don't have room in the Hummer today, but he is pretty dang awesome. I would like to have him just because he's in the Spirit Halloween movie. Man, guys, this store is absolutely killing it with animatronics. And they even have more over here. Oh my god, the whole row down here is full of more animatronics. Check this out, we actually have two Monty Monkeys here. Two Monty Monkeys. We got a straw man here, an Emmeline down on the bottom. We got another Emmeline here. Is this Emmeline? We got three Emmelines in this store, guys. How crazy is that? We got a slim over here. And look at this, holy crap, we have pop-up pins, stilts, and then we got two Cotton Candy Dan's. Man, I thought Cotton Candy Dan's box was huge, but look at stilts. Look at this, I am like barely in the store. I just came from that door over there, I've only made my way over here, and we have already seen so much awesome stuff, guys. I absolutely love stores like this, they're so stocked up. Plus we got all this to look at. Oh my gosh, I see stuff hanging up and on the shelves that I have never seen before, but we're gonna save that stuff. Whoa! If I don't show this one right now, we may never see it again. It is a new zombie baby from 2024. Look at that. Her name is Barbara Wire and she actually is chewing on barbed wire. That little girl is awesome. Oh my gosh, look, she's got barbed wire wrapped around her arm, around her neck. That is so cool and creepy. Look at the pigtails look like horns. And look at the yellow eyes. Alright, I had to show you that one just in case they don't have her in other stores because those are flying off the shelf. But look at this. Over here, guys, we have two bobby strings. Holy crap. We have a corpse bride. Emily, Emily, and I believe this is Emily on the other side here too. Yes, I have three Emilys. I actually just bought Emily and Victor. I put them together in another video. If you guys haven't seen that, make sure you go back in my videos and watch that. And because honestly, these are some of the best looking animatronics I have ever seen. I don't see Victor sitting anywhere in here yet, but we're only halfway through the store. Look at this. We have two Barnaby Bears in here. I told you they were stocked. One, two, three, four, five man's possessed friend. You can always bank on finding Bubba in these stores. Look at this. We have two demonic gatekeepers over here. We have a howling spirit. Oh my gosh, this guy is huge. Raises from three feet five inches to four feet seven inches. Lights up with orange LEDs. Speaks four lines while laughing evilly. Wait, was he also supposed to be online only? Maybe not. I don't know who I'm thinking of, but I don't know. You guys tell me. Oh my gosh, I just can't believe how much stuff I got in here. Look at this. We have a whole plethora of jumping spiders. We got the black jumping spiders, the gray jumping spiders, and the black and red jumping spiders. Look at this on the other side of the post. We have three dagger mites. If you miss getting dagger mites, I highly recommend him. He is an awesome jump scare. We are making our way over here, guys. There's even more over there. We got the empty soul girl on the swing here. Uh, more empty soul girls here. Look at this. We have an exorcist Reagan hiding over here. We got a swinging witch here. We got two grave watchers. We got a spike animatronic here. I thought he was online only as well. Like two years ago, maybe? There's that snake I kept talking about getting last year. Oh my gosh, we have another inflatable that I have never, ever seen. I'm just going to tell you what it's called. It's called the Dual Mask Inflatable. I'm not going to show you right now because we've already had so much fun looking at all these animatronics and there are even more to go. I have to save some stuff for other stores. All right, let's keep on moving over here. Look at this. we got a collector's minion right here. I thought he was online too. Look at this. We have three gravestone ghouls. What the heck? I call them ghouls. Gravestone ghouls. We have three gravestone ghouls here. That's actually a smaller box than I expected with that guy. He's pretty good looking though. Look at the face on him. That is pretty cool and I love that creepy hair. It's so disgusting. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so excited to be in here right now. I see so much stuff. I have never seen before. But like I said, we have to save some for other stores in case I walk in and they don't have any animatronics. I will show you this though because these are flying off the shelves too. The Halloween 2 Statue Pumpkin Skull. Check that out. It's got a tiny button. Oh, he's not turning on, but I think he lights up inside. That is awesome. Oh, and look at the back. It even says Halloween 2 on it. Oh, Danny Girl. The Danny Girls are Danny Girls. I hear you, Nibbles. We'll be there in a minute. I want to take a look at these really quick here. These hanging LED flame lights. Now, these are actually pretty small, but what I'm thinking with this is, if you guys saw the video, I have the giant 26 foot inflatable pumpkin that I just put up in my front yard. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you watch. I'm wondering if I hung this inside, 
but it looked like an actual flame, like making that pumpkin flicker. Because I put some lights inside and it lights up really good, but you really want it to look like it's got a big flame inside. I don't know, I have to think about that one. It probably would require a bigger one or maybe even several of those. All right, let's come over here and check this stuff out, guys. But first, let me show you this. We got Wanda Webworth over here. I don't know if she's set up in here or not. I haven't been through the whole store yet. And over here, we actually have a Nibbles on the floor for sale. Oh, look, they do have Wanda set up over here. Okay, let's start with Nibbles, though. Because remember in the last store where I was trying to see his tracking motion, feel like they're being watched? I have motion tracking sensor technology. And I couldn't get him to really follow me. It was really weird, but people have told me that you can't have your camera out. So first, let's just get him going here. See what he does. <laughs> Alright, I like the laughing, but I like it better when we actually talk. You can't escape my cage, so why don't you come a little closer and let's play a game. <laughs> if you win, you'll get a prize. If you lose, well, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Okay, so I gotta say, I just wanted to see him in action and hear what he had to say, but as I was watching, a girl looked up, and it appeared that he looked her straight in the eyes. Alright, let's see, if I set the camera down here, maybe we can see if he actually does it. Alright, Wanda Webworth. We know she's working in this store because we've heard her in the background this whole time I've been in here. So let's go ahead and see if we can get her going here. Apparently she's on her sensor. Okay, ooh, okay. Look at that. She is so awesome. Yikes. She would be awesome to have set up in your movie room if you're watching Arachnophobia. Okay, let's come over to the side of the fun house here. Let's get Cotton Candy Dan going. Apparently he's on the sensor as well. Is he on the sensor? Oh, wait, no. He's got a step pad over here. Here we go. Cotton Candy Dan? Okay. Sometimes it's sweet. Sometimes it's not. Alright, I gotta back up a minute so you can see the whole thing happen. Hold on now. Okay, how strange. I noticed this motion going on as he was ending. He's like plunging ahead in and out of the cotton candy bucket. I didn't notice mine doing that, and I own him. Do you guys have him, and did you notice him doing that? All right, let's get it going again here. Step back so we can see the whole thing. Come on, Dan. Okay, so yeah, watch this. When he starts to put the head back in the bucket, it's like he's plunging it in and out. What the heck? That's even creepier than just putting it back in the bucket. <laughs> How weird. Is that what you're supposed to do, guys? Because I didn't notice mine doing that. Okay, we got three more over here, but first let's talk about these posters. Everybody keeps asking, are the posters for sale? And the answer is, some places they're for sale, some places they're not. Some places are selling them for a dollar each, some places are saying that they're part of the display and they have to stay until the end of the season. So if you are dead set on getting one of those posters and you're told that you can't have it yet, just go to another store, they might sell it to you. Okay, so we're going to go through the Fun House of Terror in a minute, but I've been putting it off because I did have more donuts this morning. I'm scared of the mirrors. On this side, we got Bobby Strings, we have Emily set up, and we have Barnaby the Bear. Who should we do first? Okay, I think let's do Barnaby the Bear. Okay, hold on. Let me look at the box here first because I've been curious how tall he is compared to Monty. So, Barnaby the Bear, he is 5 feet 10 inches tall at the tallest point. Monty over here stands 6 feet tall. So, Monty is actually a little bit taller than Barnaby. But let's go over here and see him in action. I love his ball. I love his little mitts here. But he's loud. <laughs> Yeah, I love how he, like, he reminds me of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Because even though he has these gigantic fangs and scary eyes and makes scary sounds, he has these little mitts here that are, like, just so loving. <laughs> and he has a gold ball, so it's like Goldilocks and the Bear Mitts. Goldie Ball and the Bear Mitts. The feet, too. Look, they just look like cuddly teddy bear feet. Look at the hands. They're so not threatening. Please don't eat me with your scary fangs, but you can hug me with your loving paws. Alright, let's check out Emily over here. I don't know why the stores aren't getting Victor. Maybe he'll be coming later on. But let's go ahead and get her going. Like I said, I bought these. Let's go. I want to buy. I 